What's going on DMG clan? Today I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade your AYN Odin 2 so you can play drastic emulation on the moon. Let's level up our software knowledge even more in 2024. That's right mobile gamers. So today we're going to downgrade our Odin 2 because well there's multiple reasons why we would do this. Now we're going to be downgrading this all the way back to the December build. I have been asked this multiple times how to do this. This is also a way to reset your entire device. Maybe AYN will release all of their firmware so that we can actually downgrade to different versions. And if this version doesn't exist anymore, which is linked in the description below, then I will try to host it or share it with you some way because it is a two gigabyte file and i think google drive will allow me to let you do that i don't know yet but otherwise this is just basically a way to get your device back to stock back to the december build of 208 now one of the major reasons why some people want to do this is to be able to play drastic ds emulation on their odin 2 and it looks really really great on there so yeah that is why i'm doing this so navigate to the description I put a link for the Discord, I put a link for the Odin 2 files, and I put a link for a program called QPST. So QPST is our major program that we're going to be using. So right click on this in Windows and click Extract All, click Extract again, and then wait for it to do its thing. Now minimize that, and then we're going to right click on the Odin 2 2023-1201 and Extract All as well. Now, a very important tip before we actually go ahead and proceed with all of this, make sure you back up all your game saves, all of your saves in general, anything that you have stored on the internal storage of your Odin 2, because you're gonna lose all your data. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So if you didn't listen to this part of the video and you downgraded and lost everything and complained to me that you didn't, did, 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 did that, then I'm sorry. Now, we're going to open up QPST folder while we're waiting for that to extract. And we're going to install QPST 2.7496.1. Like, yes, a little dialog window will pop up. Now, you're not going to see that on screen, but yes, this dialog window will ask you, hey, are you sure you want to install this? And then you're going to follow the setup wizard. Now, this is for Windows only. Click I accept, click next, click next again and next again for complete install and then click install. Now give it a few seconds to install this and then the next thing we're going to do, because most likely you don't have the Qualcomm drivers already installed and if you do then great, but if not then we have the drivers in here as well. We're gonna double click on the Qualcomm USB driver version 1.0 and then click yes again, wait for Qualcomm to pop up, it's gonna do its thing, install some fancy stuff, make it look like you're a scientist in the matrix and then it's going to Continue with the installation while we're still extracting that five gigabyte file that we were extracting earlier, which is going to take another three minutes, I guess, maybe a little bit less than that. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content surrounding the Odin 2, because I have some more content coming this summer and going forth into the future, because I still believe the Odin 2 is a very powerful device. And look at what we got. We got the Odin 2 firmware all in here, ready to go. Don't need to do anything with that right now. Now for the setup process for the Qualcomm USB drivers for Windows, we're gonna click next for WWAN, click next again, click I accept, click next again, click install. And this is gonna finalize the Qualcomm USB drivers for Windows setup part. Click install and then wait for it to do its thing once again. Now, while we're finishing with that installation, we're going to jump back over to our Odin 2. On our Odin 2, if you haven't done this already, you're going to navigate to your settings. So go to settings, go all the way down to where it says about handheld. You're going to go all the way down to build number and tap that a million times until it says you are now a developer. No, that doesn't make you a developer unless you actually know how to develop Android apps. But all you have to do is click back, go to system, go down to developer options, and you're going to turn on a fancy little feature called USB debugging. Turn that on, click OK, and then plug in your USB-C cable. So I'm going to use a USB-C to USB-A because I find that the USB-C to USB-A works better for this. 
You're going to plug this in to your Odin 2. Click yes on the file transfer. And now an allow USB debugging might pop up on your screen. If it doesn't, don't panic. Click the checkbox and then click allow again. And again, don't panic if it doesn't pop up because it will pop up a few minutes later or it'll pop up when we have to do the next step. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your search bar at the bottom left hand side, type in QFill just like so and click on that. This is going to open up a program that we need to actually load our Odin 2 build information. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to browse. You're going to go to your downloads folder. You're going to go to the Odin 2 folder. You're going to go to the Odin 2 folder again. And then you're going to go to where it says firehouse program right here and go to all files. You're going to look for a file called xbl underscore s underscore dev prg underscore ns dot m e l f. Click on that. Click load XML. Now this is going to load the XML files within that folder that you need. So highlight all of them. Click open. You're going to open up another dialog window. Highlight all of those. Click open again. And now we can't do anything else because we need to get into what is called EDL mode. So there is a way to do this manually with our device. All right, so to get into EDL mode, this part is a little bit tricky. It's not really tricky. It's more of you need to listen to your computer. So turn up your volume, put some headphones on or something, because what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold down both the volume up and down button, and we're gonna hold down the power. Now, you're gonna listen for your device to ding once. Wait for it to go, wait for it to go, and then let go of the power button. Now you should hear it ding again, and the screen will just go black just like this. Now if we jump back over to our computer, we're going to be able to select the port. Now if you get a different port icon here for the driver that says something else, then you need to go back into your device manager just like so. Go all the way down to COM ports right here and make sure that your driver says Qualcomm. If it doesn't go to update driver browse for my computer, let me pick and then show compatible drivers. And then you're going to pick the Qualcomm one that we are using right now, which is 90008. If it says anything else, sometimes it might say Quatech or something else, then make sure you update it to the Qualcomm driver that we installed earlier. It should say Qualcomm HS-USB QD Loader 90008. The COM10 part does not matter. That's just a COM port that it picked for you. It doesn't matter if it says COM port 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7. As you notice, there's multiple different COM ports here. I'm going to let you know that that does not matter. Okay. So you're going to click on this port right here and click OK. Now we've selected that COM port. Now we're going to go to configuration, firehose configuration, and we're going to change a setting here to reset after download mode. Make sure this says UFSS mode and it says Sahara, no validation. Just make sure everything looks all the same like this. And then we're going to be on our way to downgrading our Odin 2 back to 208 by clicking on the download button. Just give it some time. If it fails the first time, then you might have to go back into EDL mode again. But usually if you put a good USB-C cable in here, then it'll actually download everything. It does take time. Give it a few minutes. Do not touch your Odin 2. Wait for it to do this because it's just doing some stuff with rewriting the entire five gigabytes of the OS back to your Odin 2. So as you can see, our Odin 2 is restarting now. Sometimes this doesn't actually restart by itself. It should if your cable is good. But now our Odin 2 has restarted. It is back to stock. It's back to the original firmware from back in December. And to confirm this, let's just go through the entire setup process really quick here so that we can get to the settings screen. Go down to settings. Now, if you get this bug, this is a bug, by the way, just restart your device, okay? Now, what I was talking about there is that the buttons and stuff were acting up. Go to your settings, go to your about handheld, and there you go. You're back to 208 again, and you'll be able to play drastic or just re-update your entire device if you want to. Have a nice day, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have anybody else that has this question on how to downgrade or fix their rooted Android Odin 2, then this is the way to do it. Love you all. See you next time.